Alright, I know I'm starting stream a little early today. But it's mostly because I just want to get this done. Yeah, I'm starting to get tired of doing this uh, series. Uh, regular streaming it is not for me. I really hope I can finish this game in one more stream. I just have other things I want to do with my time than constantly stream. They're trying to head in the front door. <laughs> I think they learned their lesson. Do you mind if we uh, keep dog patrolling out here? <laughs> Not at all. You heard him, dog. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, go see Dad. Dad. I'll catch, catch up with you later. Take care of yourself. <laughs> I don't think Eli knows you're here yet. He's in silo one access here. Right through here. Shall we? Oh no, what's that? Going to space. I see you and the HEV suit have taken excellent care of each other. <laughs> They're inseparable. The data, people, the data. Kleiner, are you going to sink up the satellite? Or should I postpone the launch to make time for a family reunion? All right, all right. I was just saying hello to Alex and Gordon. Oh, fine. No cramps me a moment's peace, but by all means, unroll the red tongue. right here, Dr. Klein. We've got a ton of data. The strange thing is, it was all attached to a transmission from Judith. Transmission? From Judith? Do you mean the message didn't get through? We've got to see this right away. Just let me start the decoding process, and then we can view it in the auxiliary control room. For God's sake, hurry. Yes, yes, of course. Another alarm? Oh, God. Yeah. What next? A parade of constant interruption. Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Anyone? 
Oh, so long all day. Damn crows have been nesting in the tracks. I do not know how I am supposed to concentrate with all of this wreckage. Freeman. Freeman, you're not doing anything. Make yourself useful and find out what the hell is going on in there. Uh, yes. Yeah. I do very Catch up with us when you're done. Okay. Freeman! Let me down. Last doors will have sealed due to the alert, so you'll have to go through the bottom of the launch tube. I'll open this hatch to let you down. Now, once you're down there, I'll have your riot to let you into the secondary silo. Attention personnel, this is Dr. Magnuson. Since the secondary silo staff seem incapable of solving their little problem, you will be happy to hear we have put the popular Dr. Freeman on the job. We all look forward to his remedy, and I look forward to hearing the staff's excuses for why they couldn't handle it themselves. Thank you for your patience.
overhead silo doors and stop this infiltration. Take the Freeman from here. 
I can return to my place of honor. Uriah. At the side of the Uriah. Mountain. I don't know if that was that. Thanks for the help. I'm gonna say Uriah. Dr. Carter claimed that he had a northern helicopter right after they got here. But he wouldn't tell me why. I'm fairly sure I pinned down the location of the project. It's hard to Thanks. say how much it might have survived attack or whether there's anything remaining that could compromise our work if it were discovered by the combine. We'll need to take a close look at it, of course, but I should be able to give a better opinion within a few hours. If the site is where we think it is, it should be no more than... I'm going to cut this short. We may have been spotted. Never have let her go. There was no stopping her, Eli. Wait a moment. There's something else here. Ah, the famous ship we'll never see. It's the Borealis. Good God. Incredible. What? The Borealis? It's real? Oh, yes, yeah, quite amateur. real, despite its almost legendary stature. Ah, uh, it's <laughs> legendary stature. It's legendary now, given it's been, what, 13 years? 17? Compromised ordinary standards of risk. We heard that research muscle had simply disappeared, vanished with all hands, and even part of the dry dock. If you believed the Borealis would ever be seen again. It should have been lost forever. Ah, but now that we've found it, we can use it against the Combine. Did you use it? That thing has to be destroyed. But think of the advantage for humanity. We can't simply waste all that potential. Did you like me to talk to you anything? There's no controlling that kind of power. Well, yes. There's always a risk, Eli. But my goodness, we have coordinates, blueprints, hailing frequencies. Quite ingenious of Dr. Mossman to hide it all in the carrier way. Well, that means she's still alive up there. But it's a combine catcher. It'll tear out everything she knows. There'll be nothing left of her. But we don't know for sure. I won't that... take that chance. I'm going after her. Now, Eli, the only thing worse than Judith falling into their hands would be if they should get a hold of you. She may know the particulars of the Borealis, but you, you know everything about the Resistance. Listen to Dr. Kleiner, Dad. Gordon and I are more than able to handle this. We'll get her back. Kleiner, where are you? Why isn't the decoding finished? Oh, fine. The code. Yes, Magnuson. It just needs a little bit longer. You're waiting for the combines. Go ahead. They'll soon be here to give it to you in person. I'll hurry along, Magnuson. I'll be back as soon as I finish. Dad, are you okay? Not again. Not again. I can't let it happen. Dad, prepare for unforeseen consequences. What did you say? Dad! Okay. It's okay. Just, just lean into me. It's a lot of food. Thank you, baby. I'll be fine. In a minute, too. Okay. Do you need anything? Actually, Alex, would you... Would you mind getting me a cup of tea? There's a hot plate in the old staff room. I'll be right back. Gordon, just keep an eye on him. We're, we're not going anywhere. Thank you, baby. Unforeseen consequences. The last time I heard Kleiner, I see the two other scientist models. You had just Eli. into the test chamber. I think that's green. In my ear. Gordon! <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. Our mutual friend. When he brought in that crystal, I knew I... I should have aborted that damn test, but I didn't. The whole world went to hell that day. And now... Now he's using my little girl. Putting words in her mouth. I should have known when he rescued her, it was for his own damn reasons. Gordon, there's so much I need to tell you. 
between us. Can you tell me when Half Life 3 will finally release? Uh, God damn it, Alex, he was about to tell me when Half Life 3 was coming yeah. out. We had to walk in. Alright, people, change of plans. There is no way we can launch before those striders are. Oh, oh, excuse me if I'm interrupting the tea time. I'll just step out until you finish, if that's more convenient. Well, Freeman, I believe I've found the perfect use for you. Follow me, quickly. We'll, uh, we'll talk later. Yeah, you might want to deal with the resonance cascade I just set off in your closet. Freeman, Striders are coming. A single one of those damn things could shoot down our rocket. We don't dare launch until all Striders are destroyed. Well, this is a vibe. You proved yourself capable, and the staff seem to respect you. Therefore, I'm putting defense of White Forest and this ingenious new weapon of mine in your hands. We call it the Magnuson device. Not my chosen label, you understand, but it seemed to please the personnel. Now look lively in there. Warm up the delivery port. What, you say? what it is, is a sort of sticky bomb. Although cleverer than that makes it sound. From your point of view, you merely pitch the device at the Strider's hull. Then blow it up. I've struggled with a mechanism for launching the device, but... Well, your zero-point energy field manipulator Gravity is gun. a battle problem. Now follow me, and we'll let you get in some practice while we still have time. Don't be alarmed, Freeman. This Strider's days of impaling your friends are a thing of the past. Now, out in the field, we'll supply you with all the Magnuson devices you need through delivery ports like this one. For the safety of the base, these devices are the opposite. They cannot explode our base in your fucking That's right. There you go. Ah, not too difficult at this range, is it? Get hmm, hold on. It's a bit harder when it's moving about and firing at you, of course. Now, let's move on to a more challenging task. Move it. Uriah, send the target to the far end of the rail. Uriah. Uriah. Very well. Try it now. Those components could be used for a lot more useful stuff than moving this dummy. Challenging at this range, isn't it? Magnificent device, isn't it? I'll be right over here when you are ready to head. Had enough? Your car is fueled and ready to go. Every building in the valley has its own dispenser port, so you'll have ample supply of explosives. Now, I must get back to my rocket, Freeman. I'm relying on you not to squander my trust or my magnificence. Oh, and Freeman, if you pull this off, I might just forgive you for that debacle at Black Mesa. You know the one I mean, involving a certain microwave casserole. Hey, I wanted a chimichanga, and your thing was taking way too long. To go. Hey, Dr. Freeman, over here. Taking a few liberties with your car. Check it out. I added a rack for magazine devices back here. Yeah, yeah, I see it. I tweaked your onboard radar so the combines show up red on the dashboard unit now. Plus, it'll send a homing signal to your HEV suit in case you get separated from your car. Oh, oh no, I know where my car is. No need to thank me. Now check this map. Thank you. 
right here at the south end of the valley. Rest of the gang's up north by the old sawmill, here. I'm gonna forget this entire Head on map. up there, and they'll fill you in on the battle plan. I've played this game I'll like be staying here to watch the field and send status updates. Good luck out there. You'll find the sawmill at the far end of the valley. Yeah, I know, I saw the map. Clear. Still no sign of incursion. Keep alert. Come closer. So, they've sent Freeman, have they? Good man. All right, We've help. counted a dozen striders just north of us. Our job is to keep them from reaching the face to the south. If they get close enough for one good shot at the silo, the whole launch is a bust. And in case striders aren't bad enough, recon indicates they're being escorted by packs of hunters. Now, what I want you to do... Attention! North perimeter breach. All right, people, this is it. We have a strider approaching from the cranes. Defensive position, go!
tower.
first rider from the water tower.
Imagine if we missed one. Like, there was just one Strider just waiting, chilling, hiding out for us to go back inside. Hey! Gordon Freeman! I just heard Barney. Where are you, Barney? Phantom Barney. Amazing out there. Come on. Combat's over. Now just to wait out the cutscenes. This is in its final stages. The portal's close to open. But Dr. Magnus is sure will be a time to stop it. Can we really use all of them? Well, I see the Magnuson device performed flawlessly. I feel compelled to thank you personally for saving my rocket. So, um, thank you. <clears throat> well, that's enough chit-chat. I've got a rocket to launch. Wow. For a minute there, I thought you were going to get a hug. I would like a hug after everything I've been through. Let's go to the control room. We can get a great view of the launch from there. Well, here we are again. While you were out having fun, I found an old helicopter that I was able to get working. I've got it all packed up and ready to go. Never a dull moment, huh? I'm seeing a payload anomaly of approximately eight and a half pounds. Well, that's what they're for us. That's certainly not worth scuttling out. At last. Ah, oh, Gordon. Hell of a job you did out there, son. Uh, let's not forget that with the Magnuson device, those striders practically destroy themselves. Yes. Well, I think perhaps Gordon had something to do with their success. I suggest we adjourn this meeting of the Mutual Admiration Society until after we have launched our rocket. Now, I believe we're ready to start the auto sequence. I believe Gordon should have the honor. You'll hear no objection from me. It's all yours, Gordon. You, that. you know that line. You too, Doctor Magnuson. Indeed. You know that line's ironic now that the series is unfinished. We have to move in a moment, Gordon, hold on. Oh, there you are. 
The more I think about that warning from our friend, the more I'm convinced it has to do with Borealis. Don't be deceived. That ship must never be used. You have got to destroy it, whatever the cost. I guess the Where half life you does. You're gonna miss it. Be right there, Alex. Gordon, thanks for everything you've done for Alex, for all of us. I couldn't be prouder if you were my own son. Now, when you get back, we've got a lot to talk about. Come on. I I guess the Half-Life devs must have listened to Eli on not use the Borealis. Alex, look at the portal! We've activated the resonator! This is it! Oh my goodness! Yes! yes. The portal has been neutralized! We did it! We did it! Oh, my rocket we sure as hell did. I knew it would work. I'll bet the Combine aren't too happy right now. You got that right, sweetheart. But we've got plenty to celebrate. I wish you didn't have to head off so soon. If only it weren't so critical. It's okay, Dad. We'll find Judith and bring her back. Dawn? Hey, where are you? Don't go too far. Oh, there she is. Gassed up and ready to go. Uh, Remember to keep your friends in contact. We have no idea what to expect. It's been many oh, years, yeah. and I keep a visit. I just wish you all this in. It's been many years, and I always come back to this moment. Come on, Gordon. The chocolate is waiting for us. Even with Half-Life Alex being out. Are you sure you have everything you need? I think so. Dr. Kleiner gave us the Morial coordinates. We we'll keep the hailing frequency open on the chopper radio in case Judith tries to reach us again. Even with Half-Life Alex here. being out, the timeline still again. ends here. <laughs> In this warehouse. By this helicopter. Dad! Alex! Dad! Oh. Get away! Listen to it. Destroy that ship! Whatever it takes! Destroy it! So began the dark interval.
even with Alex. Yeah, I don't think I need to say how this still feels. And for so many years, that was the note we were left on. And in a way, it's still the note some of us are left on. The ones of us who can't play VR. Who can't play Half-Life Alex? For those that played Half-Life Alex, they still have some form of a, of a continuation. Yeah, I'm still waiting. Alright, that's the end of stream. I don't think I'm doing Portal 2. I know I did Portal 1, but frankly, I don't feel like regular continuing my regular streams. Just got other priorities. So, yeah. This, just like Half-Life, this will be the note I will end on, for now. But I will come back one day. One day.